We moved onto a 45-foot sailboat in Baltimore, Maryland with our parrot and corgi. It took time, patience, and work, but we have managed to transform it into a home. Now, it is time for us to venture out and explore the world as cruisers. Since we ride with a small electric motor, we depend on the winds to take us to new, exciting places. Join us as we travel on board Wisdom, our sailing home. So I just installed these stays last night, or actually last afternoon. That's the gant line still on the deck from climbing all the way up the mast. To attach them between the spreaders and the top shreds. So I'm currently getting the constructional stretch all the way out of them. So I have the stay, two blocked to the dead eye, and then I just have it simply hitched onto uh, the cut old stay. And that connects it to the turnbuckle, which I'm using that to get most of the stretch out in the mo at the moment. So as you can see, the stay seems pretty tight. And then if I put all my weight into it, and pull back really hard, it's really loose. So I've just continually doing that and then closing this turnbuckle body. And it'll get bar tight again, and then I'll pull quite hard on it with all my body weight. It'll go slack, and then I tighten the turnbuckle again. Once I get the constructional stretch out, then I'll set it up as a conventional dead eye system, as you can see here, where it's dead eye, or connecting to the lashing, and the dead eye at the bottom. The same with the capture rods. Stay comes down, comes into the lashing, and the dead eye is down at the bottom connecting to the deck via to uh, toggle. Thanks so much for watching, and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much!